The automotive world is on the brink of a major upheaval, thanks to the breakthrough development of a highly efficient and practical water-powered engine. This innovation poses a significant threat to both electric vehicles, EVs, and traditional fossil fuel engines, promising to eradicate the substantial pollution levels associated with current transportation methods. Come along as we delve into the exciting discovery of this water engine and explore the reasons behind its potential to revolutionize the entire car industry. To understand why such a water-powered engine hasn't emerged earlier, it's crucial to acknowledge the long-standing efforts within the car industry to develop this technology. Historically, attempts to create water-powered engines have faced challenges, often resulting in either catastrophic failures or insufficient efficiency for practical applications. While there were some promising projects along the way, many of them were eventually abandoned for various reasons, which we'll delve into shortly. The most promising developments in the realm of water-powered engines that have advanced beyond the prototype stage include fuel cell vehicles and hydrogen-powered combustion engines. However, it's essential to note that both these alternatives still lag behind electric vehicles, EVs, and traditional internal combustion engines in terms of efficiency and sophistication as their technology remains somewhat basic and inefficient in the long run. Nevertheless, we find ourselves on the cusp of a new era for water-powered engines. A few years ago, a visionary individual successfully created a functional prototype marking a significant leap forward in this innovative technology. Let's introduce you to the inventor behind this breakthrough, Oladine Kasemi, a dedicated scientist from Iran. Credited as the mastermind behind this groundbreaking engine, Kasemi has tirelessly pursued an alternative to fossil fuels, achieving a remarkable milestone that holds immense promise for the entire automotive industry. Operating from Garachin, a city situated west of Tehran, Kasemi asserts that he successfully converted a locally produced Peugeot 405 from running on gasoline to a water-powered vehicle. Notably, he claims that the engine integrated into the converted 405 is remarkably efficient, reliable, and straightforward. This is hardly surprising, given that Kasemi developed it entirely from scratch during his spare time. Now, let's delve into the mechanics of this groundbreaking engine. As Kasemi explains, the power is generated through the separation of water, or H2O, into hydrogen and oxygen. This process initiates a chemical reaction that provides the energy necessary to propel the car. The functioning of this engine bears resemblance to a hydrogen combustion engine, such as the one found in the BMW Hydrogen 7. However, Kasemi's innovation stands out as it avoids using highly flammable compressed gas as a propellant. Instead, the hydrogen fuel cell operates through electrolysis. When voltage is applied to the electrodes within the tank, H2O molecules split into hydrogen and oxygen. Often referred to as an HHO generator, this system, in theory, should function flawlessly. The tank itself, holding 60 litres, is strategically positioned in place of the rear seats. In the publicly released video, we observe Kasemi filling the fuel tank with distilled water, a demonstration that includes him drinking the water to emphasise its non-dependence on regular fossil fuels. It has been reported that, under economical driving conditions, the car can travel over 900 kilometers at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. This implies that the car consumes approximately 6 litres of water per 100 kilometers, rendering it highly economical. Consequently, pit stops become infrequent, enhancing its convenience, especially on longer journeys, surpassing the practicality of electric vehicles. However, the advantages of using water as an energy source extend beyond mere efficiency. Let's explore the additional significant benefits associated with water-powered engines. Advantages. To begin, let's draw a comparison between the water-powered engine and its fossil fuel counterparts. Surprisingly, water emerges as a more potent fuel source than regular gasoline. A litre of water has the capacity to generate up to 96 megajoules of energy, whereas a litre of gasoline yields only 29 megajoules, 
almost four times less. It's important to note that this doesn't imply a future filled with hypercars sporting 1.64 bangers. Nonetheless, these cars are bound to possess ample power to meet the needs of the majority. Moreover, traditional internal combustion engines release various harmful emissions, with carbon dioxide being the most notable. In stark contrast, Kasemi's water-powered engine produces only water vapour, contributing next to zero air pollution, an aspect that deems it the long-awaited blessing for environmental enthusiasts. Taking a pragmatic approach, utilising water as a fuel source for cars proves significantly superior. Water, being notably more affordable than gasoline or diesel, offers a cost-effective alternative. Although distilled water is pricier than regular tap water, its weight remains lower than conventional fuel, ensuring the car remains as economically viable as an electric vehicle, EV. Speaking of EVs, water-powered engines offer heightened convenience, allowing drivers to refuel almost anywhere in a considerably shorter time frame. Additionally, it's worth noting that EVs are intricate and sophisticated machines, requiring the expertise of highly skilled individuals for maintenance and repairs, a factor that incurs substantial costs. To put it into perspective, replacing the battery on a baseline Tesla Model 3 alone costs nearly a third of the entire car's value. Now, Contrast this with a straightforward and easily manageable mechanical assembly and you'll quickly discern the primary advantages of incorporating water engines into our daily lives. Additionally, it's worth noting their eco-friendly nature. They leave a smaller environmental footprint. Unlike electric vehicles, water engines operate independently of the electric grid, which, as we are well aware, predominantly relies on fossil fuels for electricity production. Furthermore, Electric vehicles, often deemed luxurious based on price tags alone, prove too costly for practical, everyday use. And let's not even begin discussing the myriad advantages that water engines hold over hydrogen-powered vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs. The Dilemma To begin with, there's no prerequisite for hydrogen to be pre-separated from oxygen, making the entire process notably more affordable and globally convenient. Additionally, you're not perched atop a potential napalm bomb that could detonate unexpectedly. Hydrogen, being highly corrosive and challenging to contain, necessitates armoured tanks with constant inspections. Leakage of hydrogen poses a far greater risk than that of gasoline or water. Given the multitude of benefits associated with water engines, you might be pondering when we'll witness the widespread adoption of this groundbreaking technology. Herein lies a quandary. Despite the remarkable nature of this invention, it's not technically the first of its kind. Similar water-powered engines have been crafted in the past, yet inexplicably they remain unfunded and overlooked by the industry particularly if developed by smaller entities or individuals rather than automotive giants like Toyota or BMW. Honestly, despite instances where water-powered engines were assembled in basic workshops, no major manufacturer has ever released even a partially operational version, let alone a fully functional vehicle suitable for daily use and powered by water, an aspect that remains remarkably perplexing. To potentially uncover the missing element of this mystery, let's journey back to 1998 for a moment and explore the inaugural operational water-powered car. Much like Kasemi's Peugeot 405, this vehicle emerged from rather rudimentary conditions. Originating in the late 1990s, it took the form of a unique prototype buggy equipped with a water-powered engine. This buggy was the brainchild of Stanley Allen Meyer who repeatedly claimed that both car and oil companies not only threatened him, but also attempted to coerce him into demolishing the vehicle. Meyer went on to reveal that he was offered millions of dollars in return for eradicating all traces of the car's existence. Remarkably, Meyer stood his ground, vigorously opposing the pressure exerted by oil companies. Tragically, in 1998, Meyer met a mysterious end, reportedly due to a brain aneurysm. What adds a sinister layer to this narrative is the circumstance surrounding his demise, 
a dinner with his brother and two Belgian businessmen keen on his invention. Following a sip of cranberry juice, Meyer abruptly left the restaurant, clutching his throat with his brother trailing him. In his final moments, Meyer disclosed to his brother that the businessmen had poisoned him, collapsing soon after and never regaining consciousness. To heighten the intrigue, shortly after Meyer's demise, his garage was ransacked by an unidentified intruder, resulting in the disappearance of the car he designed, along with most of the blueprints and tools. While we refrain from definitively claiming that oil companies were involved, given the uncertainty surrounding Meyer's pre-mortem claims, it remains a possibility. Meyer and his brother may have been seeking attention by transforming themselves into martyrs, but the circumstances surrounding his passing are undeniably peculiar, to say the least. Others have ventured into developing engines akin to those of Kasemi and Meyer, one such instance being the Pakistani scientist Aha Waka Ahmed. Ahmed's creation operated on distilled water, and many attest to the full functionality of the car. However, his efforts faced a setback, orchestrated by none other than Atta ur Rahman, Pakistan's former Minister of Science and Technology. Rahman dismissed the project outright, claiming that such innovations were inherently unworkable. According to him, even if someone managed to create a functional water engine, it would violate the laws of conservation of energy. Kasemi's invention seems to grapple with similar challenges. Sadly, there have been no substantial updates on the development process for several years, which is disheartening to learn. While there is a genuine desire to witness a water engine evolve beyond a mere concept, the automotive industry, for various reasons, persists in delaying and neglecting the advancement of such engines and vehicles. We are of the opinion that unless a major automobile manufacturer actively supports the development of water engines, we will undoubtedly overlook the substantial benefits that could accompany this innovation. Here's to hoping that Kasemi and his water-powered Peugeot 405 experience a more favourable outcome than Stanley Allen Meyer. If we were in Kasemi's shoes, we'd certainly steer clear of both Belgian businessmen and cranberry juice for the foreseeable future. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Your feedback means the world to us. Remember, knowledge is power, and your support empowers us to bring you more exciting content. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring the wonders of the world. See you in the next video.